guess I'm uh, PO at the media. Uh, we're not getting the story here. Uh, I thank Edward Snowden, the whistleblower, for uh, informing me about a lot of things. Uh, unfortunately, it's turned out that we're not such nice people around the world. Our behavior in other parts of the world is it, not the way we've been led to believe. And I don't think that's the way we're supposed to, where uh, we want to behave. We, uh, I taught my children virtues and what sins and virtues were. I think that's important. And uh, uh, reading your article, um, my question is, even if we go ahead and have some kind of oversight thing going on here, based on what Snowden has released and how uh, the NSA has been unable, their oversight committee has been completely in the dark, totally lied to by the head of the uh, NSA. And so why would we believe that a secret court and a secret agency would behave any better here in Canada. That's a very good point. And in fact, I've been writing uh, things about exactly that in, in the last little while. And uh, unfortunately, uh, there, is a, there is a problem, there is a limit on, on oversight and, and review in the official sense. And, you know, if, let's say that, you know, conservatives have opposed it altogether, but do we have a parliamentary committee um, and on national security? And those members are security cleared. Well, that's good because that means that they can then see what, you know, is inside the charmed circle. But they're trapped because they can't then talk about that outside to, to their constituents and to the public. And uh, Edward Snowden, I think, represents something very important, and that is the rise of what I call guerrilla accountability. <laughs> um, and, and that is to break through that. that and, and in fact, what he has revealed, and it's about Canada as well, at least about the US, uh, is, uh, is incredibly important. And you know, you have the President of the United States saying, well, we're, you know, we're gonna do all these things. Of course, this has nothing to do with the fact that Mr. Snowden, you know, who's a traitor and so on, has, has revealed this. But you know, of course, they never would have done it if it hadn't been for those. So you know, I, I'm saying, you know, bring it on. Bring on more guerrilla accountability. Yes. address your question, but just the first thing that you said, which is um, that you were mad at the media. And I think this is also something that needs to be addressed, is that a lot of us now get our news from alternative media sources. And um, there are some great alternative media sources out there, and this bill actually puts them at risk as well, because of this threat to speak free speech. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's an excellent question. You mean there's something else happening besides the cutest puppy in the entire world? Mm -hmm. Come on, there can't be more important news than that. That's what you've been getting. Um, cutest BC puppy. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a descendant of some of the people that they cracked down on in 19, uh, 1917, the Ukrainian Canadians, on both sides of my family. Uh, it's, it's very well remembered. It's very well remembered by friends and relatives of mine. Uh, got away with it, so the Italians and the, the, uh, and the uh, Hungarians, and then they got to do it again in 1940, or 1941. Uh, the same amount of legality. My uh, feeling is that you're right about the judges. That I mean, we have a lot, a lot of crappy judges and crappy lawyers. But there was a, uh, a demonstration, uh, uh, a conclusion of a union, 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 uh, union uh, management dispute of Eastern Canada.